but we'll, we'll see what sort of memories does uh, does this weekend bring back. Uh, well, great memories. Uh, listen, it was the survival of the club back in '89, and uh, you know we'd come off a fairly tough season, um, and uh, financially we were, we were in dire straits. So, for everyone to rally together, it just felt like the the uh, members were able to invest in the club, um, and their membership became real. Um, and you know the players. Uh, and all the supporters got together in that on that day uh, out here, and I'm not sure how many people were there, but it was it was a fantastic day and something that we can remember. What was Stephen, it like? did, you, did you did you think the club was gone? Did you resign uh, yourself to that fact? We were well down the track, yes. Uh, it had been, like I said, a tough year, and financially we were we weren't getting paid at that stage because we didn't have the finances. But to see that the rallying of um, all teams behind the Bulldogs, but also the support of all the supporters, was just unbelievable that we could do that. Um, and it's kept us in the competition, and you know we'll look back on that as a, a pivotal part of our history. How did you feel about being a, a Fitzroy Bulldog if that was going to be the eventuality? We we actually didn't get to that stage as players. Uh, we were still um, still engaged in the club. Uh, it was just our post season, so we hadn't gone to the level of that we were actually merged. Um, so you know that wasn't an, an issue at that stage. How? It was a it's a big part of um, our family's life. Naturally, uh, we've always been involved with the Bulldogs. So to take that away and uh, for it not to be there would be you know something you know, we wouldn't have liked. So to sit here, yes, and watch the Bulldogs play today and and look at a young up and coming team um, doing well, won the 2016 Premiership, but also financially, you know, with the terrific support of uh, the board and, and Peter's direction, uh, it's been fantastic. Sorry. Can you believe it's been 30 years and your son is now playing for the team? How does that feel? When I look in the mirror, it's been 30 years. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, it, no, it's a bit surreal that uh, that I've been fortunate enough to have Mitch come along and play with the Bulldogs as well. Um, I, I love this place and it, uh, I'm a country kid who came down here and has uh, enjoyed the city life but also you know, had a great career in work as well from the football club. So um, it is terrific to be able to watch these guys play. Mitch, I mean, obviously your old man would have, would have told you, you know, some stories growing up, but how connected do you feel to this footy club, especially given you know, your history here as a family? Yeah, very connected. Obviously, it's been part of our life for a long time. We talk about 30 years ago, I think, what was 1983 that you made your debut. So it's been a long time that it's been in the Wallace blood. So um, to, you know, to have a storyline that, that's gone from, you know, 1989 to right through to 2016 when we, you know, tasted the ultimate success and and some of the success we've had you know, this year and last year. It's an amazing journey and it just adds to the character of the place. Um, and it's a great story that hopefully I can pass on to my kids and you know, we'll be a thriving club for a long time to the future. Talk us through your road to recovery. You're in a couple of weeks away, hopefully. What's, what's your next couple of weeks look like? Yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, it's probably, it's, it's fairly frustrating because there's no fix. There's no uh, limit on, uh, on the time when, I, when I'll be back in 100% because uh, that's the nature of a stress fracture. But um, I'm going to give it another crack this weekend in the VFL and play a full game unrestricted and just see how it pulls up. And, and uh, we've been very conservative with the management of it. And uh, yeah, like I said, because it's not fixed, so we'll we'll see how it pulls up, and then we'll make decisions after the game on the weekend. Mm. How did you work life after the last one? Yeah, I'm not too bad. It's like again, I, it's not 100%, which is again frustrating. But uh, it's about putting every foot forward and listening to the, the physios and the, and the doctors on on how to go about things and just giving myself every chance to get back out there.